today's uh, this month's October 2023 25 years ago October 1998 I left a company that was going out of business I'd been there for 17 years chemistry manufacturing so the last 25 years I haven't had anybody tell me what to do or how to do it my anniversary That's my anniversary plane. It always goes over when I start a video. Congratulating me. What got me thinking about this was this week I saw a video on YouTube about a woman who started a manufacturing company, manufacturing products she invented. It's worth $240 million. Her invention was a deodorant for when you take a poop, you don't smell it. <laughs> $240 million. The very first day of the very first week after I left my, my uh, company, I started manufacturing something, inventing something. In fact, two things. One of them was a pheromone solution because I saw on eBay people were selling them for a lot of money. And second was an artificial bait, because I love fishing. And uh, I actually manufactured the pheromone solution. My first six sales, two of the people said they smelled awful. One said it smelled like horse liniment. <laughs> I didn't care. It was, uh, the main thing is I was getting some precipitation in the solution. The bottles were uh, clear and uh, it was based upon a recipe. I had an old girlfriend. She made her own perfume out of uh, patchouli oil and cinnamon and uh, vanilla. And I did some research. And all of those uh, components are uh, supposed to be uh, uh, sexual attractive. And then I added some pheromone solution to it. So, uh, but I couldn't solve the problem of the the flocculent, the, the precipitation, and uh, the thing of it is I, I was worried about making money because uh, with no income, even though I had savings. So, uh, and the fish bait was slow going. So I started doing eBay, going to thrift stores to make my bills paid. I'll learn English one day. and. Uh, one thing drifted into another, then I stopped doing the thrift stores and I started importing and then I started manufacturing my own products, made uh, underwater video camera housings until GoPro put me out of business. <laughs> They're a good company though, good product. So, uh, but I was thinking today, if, instead of making YouTube videos and doing eBay, if I'd continued on with manufacturing, I think I... Uh, would have done better economically, but I don't know if I would have had more fun. I don't think so. But still, $240 million for toilet deodorant. <laughs> of course, anyone can come up with an idea. And business is an amazingly complicated procedure where there's a lot of things involved. You don't even realize what you have to go through. And it wasn't her first business. She'd been bankrupt two times. So uh, it's not easy. People just look at the numbers when you succeed. But uh, on the other hand, I was looking at my YouTube videos and my most profitable video is one where I made a chemical solution. I made a, a, a cleaner for inkjet printers. And it's made me several thousand dollars off that one video. Um, but there's no reason I couldn't have made my own inkjet printer solution and sold it with the video. It's got over two million, close to two million views. So I just think maybe if I had spent more time on the stuff that was my background instead of going off on my sandwich toaster adventures, uh, I might have made more. But uh, like I said, it's been fun. And 25 years not having anyone tell you what to do or how to do it.
um, you can't you can't put a price on that of course that may be one reason I cut my hair over the sink and drive a 30 year old car because <laughs> I've been working for myself and my employer is cheap doesn't want to pay much he keeps saying he's going to fire me so yeah 25 years congratulations Hope you all are doing okay. See you out there.